I think the future of digital education has to be handled very, very carefully. Okay. Um, I am a, a huge proponent of the need for digital education, as you, as you well know. However, I think we have to be very careful as well not to turn digital education into the next silver bullet to fix all the problems that education fails. Because I think that actually many of the underlying problems in education are not because of a lack of technology. I think they are made worse by a lack of technology in many cases. Um, however, I also believe that um, many problems can be addressed through technology, not only because of the fact that we solve logistic problems, like for example, ensuring that children have equal access to education, for example, because we might put it online and they can, and they can access it there. Um, all of those are, are tremendously important points. But I think also the fact that, uh, it's very it, it, simple in a way. We live in a world where technology is everywhere. If you don't understand how that technology works, how it impacts you, who is in control of the technology, okay? You are living in a world that essentially you don't understand. So how can you impact it? How can you understand it? How can you, how can you navigate through it? And for example, I think one thing that a lot of people have not really woken up to yet is things like, for example, what is happening with your personal data? What is happening with your personal uh, digital footprint? Uh, how much of an impact will what you do today or what you post today have on your job opportunities, for example, five years from now, when you are looking for a job and somebody goes back five years and looks at your media, uh, social media history. I, I know that in some parts we're addressing these things in schools. I'm not saying nothing is being done. I just think that sometimes I get the feeling that we are addressing these issues in education because we think it's a good idea to do so, but we don't really believe deeply that this is a critical issue that needs to be tackled. And I think that's a big difference. Um, lip service is not enough. And uh, I think in education today, we face so many issues, you know, even with things like student engagement and so on. Um, and with the big problems that we face in the world, like climate change and so on, that are urgent problems. I mean, we don't really get the urgency, I think, transmitted very well. What I, what I sometimes tell my students is, you know, when people tell you that education should light a spark, okay? That's just not enough anymore. Unless education, unless education, you know, ignites a towering inferno where everybody wants to, you know, achieve change to whatever means possible, are we doing our job as educators? Are we doing our job as, as a society, really, you know? Because uh, I, 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 think, I, I think the greatest enemy to, to society right now is apathy. You know, when we see things that need to be changed, then we don't change them, or we don't even care about changing them. And I don't think that education tackles that issue at all. And when it comes to digital education specifically, or the use of digital tools, more familiarity with digital tools will create more, more of a comfort level that teachers have with certain technology. Once they achieve that comfort level, it will maybe flip a switch inside them where they actually say that, look, you know, technology isn't actually that difficult, isn't actually that scary, isn't actually that bad, okay? And because I'm comfortable with it now, maybe I start thinking of technology in different ways rather than, you know, oh God, technology, and my, my brain sort of goes on a semi-shutdown because I don't want to hear about technology. So um, again, if I look at what happened recently with the COVID stuff, it started off with everybody trying to find any solution that works. But those teachers who sort of picked it up a little bit quicker than others, the next evolution of that, of that thought was, okay, now that I've seen like three or four different technologies, which ones are safe? Which ones are actually uh, going to protect my privacy or, or that of my students? You know? Which ones can I integrate with other tools? Uh, those are the kind of questions that we need to be asking them.